Once you have Puget Bench for Photoshop downloaded, first launch the version of Photoshop that the benchmark supports. Now the benchmark does not actually change any preferences, so before you actually run it, you might want to go to preferences and check things like use graphics processors enabled, make sure you have the right amount of memory usage set. If you have any custom scratch disks that you want to be using, make sure you have all those set because the benchmark does not change any of these settings. Once you're sure that all of that is good, then you can go to File, Scripts, Browse, and navigate to wherever you have the benchmark located on your system. You select the Puget Benchmark.jsx bin file, select Load, and it'll give you a pop-up just saying how long it's going to take for the benchmark to complete, and then you can just wait for it to finish running. When the benchmark is done, you'll get a result screen like this. This has all the raw results, the overall scores, as well as system information like what version of Photoshop you're running, how much RAM you have, what video card, CPU, and things like that. And it will export this out to a JPEG in the benchmark folder for you to be able to share.